This is Lucy. She was born at 7.35 p.m. on April 1st, and after a week of pure newborn bliss, she stopped moving her arms and legs and was starting to struggle while breathing and feeding. At just five weeks old, she was diagnosed with SMA type 1, a neuromuscular disorder that if left untreated means she won't make it to her second birthday. Hey everyone, welcome to Darpen Dialogue. Today on Darpen, we bring you the heart-touching story of a newborn baby and a family's plea for help from the community. A BC family is reaching out to you as they need funds to help their two-month-old baby girl live. The birth of a child and their greatest joy, Lucy Van Dormel, born on April 1st, was healthy at first but then was diagnosed with a rare neuromuscular disorder called spinal muscular atrophy. If her condition is not treated, Lucy may not live to see her second birthday. But when Lucy was 10 weeks old, a test revealed that a new gene therapy would help her condition. However, the therapy is currently the most expensive drug in the world at a price tag of $3 million. That's not all. The drug has not been approved in Canada, nor is it covered by Canadian health care. The Van Dormels have started an online fundraising campaign to gather donations for Lucy's treatment. We reached out to Lucy's mother, Laura Van Dormel. Here she is. Hi, Laura. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. Uh, tell us a little bit about uh, the nature of the disease. So Lucy was diagnosed with spinal muscular atrophy 1 or SMA type 1. It's a degenerative neuromuscular disease that affects her muscles. So it affects her ability to sit, to um, have head control, to move her arms and limbs. And most importantly, it affects her ability to breathe and to swallow. Uh, there's not a lot of treatments for this disease, and uh, prior to treatment being available, it uh, had a high fatality rate, rate. In fact, most infants didn't live past the age of two. There are some treatments available, uh, including a groundbreaking a gene therapy treatment called Zolgensma, mm -hmm. but unfortunately, it's not approved in Canada yet, and it uh, has a very hefty price tag on it of three million dollars. Oh you? my goodness, the fundraising campaign. Where can people go to donate? Um, where exactly do you have this set up? So it's on GoFundMe and so they can uh, search our daughter's name on the GoFundMe. It's Lucy Van Dormel uh, and there's also um, some links on Facebook and then also on Instagram as well. Um, how far along are you in terms of being close to that $3 million? Yeah, so we started fundraising um, when we found out that she was a good candidate for this genetic therapy, Zolgensma. And uh, we have been uh, really amazed by the community support. It's been fantastic. And we're actually a third of the way to our goal. So we've just this morning actually reached the $1 million uh, milestone. Wow, that's fantastic news. Uh, well, speaking of community support, the South Asian community um, is very keen on helping out people uh, during such difficult times, and they're really keen on championing causes as well, and they're known for their philanthropy and generosity. So is there a message you'd like to share with our viewers? Uh, absolutely. We, um, this has been a devastating diagnosis, and, and we just want the best for our daughter, and we know that this treatment is not something that we can afford on our own. So we are um, asking the community for support, small or big, and we are so thankful for everything that we've received, even just encouraging words. Um, and every a small donation has made a huge impact uh, at helping us to reach our goal. We truly, truly appreciated you uh, taking the time with us this morning, and uh, we wish you all the best uh, for Lucy. Yeah, thank you so much for having us and, and helping us to share her story. Yes, thank you so much. Time isn't on Lucy's side, and your donation today will change our little girl's life. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. Like, share, and subscribe.